Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I picked myself up a digital scale so that I could weigh not just pellets to check their weights, but also my uh, arrows that I have. And uh, just kind of curious to see, you know, how accurate things are and whatnot. Um, but especially with the pellets, uh, a lot of cans aren't labeled uh, anymore, especially Crossman stuff. It's usually not too often it's labeled. Um, but even when it is labeled, um, it'd be nice to know the actual grain weight, you know, because they say like say 7.9 for this pellet or, you know, so it's nice to be able to know the weight of those things. And uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of this little guy. It's just a made in China one, so there's no particular brand name to this. It's just digital scale. So anyway, I'll just pop the cover out of the way here. And this weighs in grams, uh, ounces, and a few other different ones. But we're going to weigh in grams, and then we'll convert it on uh, the computer for the uh, uh, gr grain weight. So I'm just going to shut this light out here. That should help. And I can see what's going on. So I'm going to take a Crossman Destroyer pellet. Now, I would think that they should be about 7.9 grain, but we're going to find out. Now, that's 0.51 of a gram. So, we're going to type in 0 0.51 gram to grain. And we get 7.87 grain is the weight of that pellet. So let's see how consistent these things are. I'll just take a couple here. Now that's 0 0.51. Oh, I've got to stop these from rolling around. So we'll take this one out of the way. Put that in the container. Zero point four nine. So that's 7.5 grain. Zero point four eight. Seven point four grain. Zero point four eight, same thing. Zero point four seven. Seven point two grain. Okay, now we're going to take some skinko pellets here, and they're supposed to be eleven point nine grain according to the container. We'll just take a couple of these. Let's grab three. These are 22 caliber version pellets. Zero. 0.74. 11.41 grain. Mm, supposed to be 11.9. Seven four. Well, that's consistent. Seven five. Eleven point five grain. So that's, out of, out of three of them so far, that's uh, definitely not 11.9. So let's take three more. 0 0.75, 0 0.74, so still less. 7.2. So that's 11.1. .1. And the 
last one. And we got 11.7 grain. Oh, that's pretty close to 11.9. Okay. Predator pellets. These are supposed to be 16 grains even. Point zero five. One point zero five. Sixteen point two. That's pretty damn close. Let's grab another one. One point zero oh three. 15.89 grain. Last one. 1.01. So when you start looking at your pellet weights here, and when you crony a gun and you get readings that are in and out by a couple of FPS, this is going to tell you exactly why. You know, so if you want to see a, a more constant string, theory has it, if all your pellets weigh the same, they should all shoot the same speed, theoretically. But you are going to find the variance in the, in the pellets, which means you're definitely going to find a variance in your speeds. Now, Beam and Kodiaks, we'll do this, just do one more. Beam and Kodiaks that I have here are 21 grains, apparently, according to the can. So one point, what's the final? 1.42. That's 21.91 grain. Oh, sorry, 1.38 became the final. You gotta let it settle. Uh, 1.38, 38. So that's 21.29 grain. That's damn close. So do another one. Twenty-one point four grain. Twenty point nine eight grain. Well, that's pretty damn close to twenty one grain. So, in all, I'd say pretty impressed with that. Um, so at least I got a pretty good idea. So whenever you find pellets that actually weigh up exactly the same, those would be the best ones out of your tin. Now I did weigh some Crossman Premiers when I first brought this home today, and the Premiers in the tin of the five hundred. I took about a half a dozen of them and not one of them was the same, you know, and they're supposed to be a 14.3 grain, but they're kind of up and down a little bit. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to, to have this scale for was to weigh my arrows, and this is uh, one of my 16 inch crossbow bolts. So we're just going to put that on there, and get it to balance. So 21.26. That's 328 grains. That's the, the arrow, the fletches, the insert, and the tip, all inclusive. Now this is supposedly a 50 grain tip, at least so I was told. Let's see how true that actually is. Get that off. Four point seven nine grain. Four point seven nine. And we're looking at seventy three point nine two grains. So that's quite a bit off from fifty grain. 
Now that's about 23 grain heavier more than what it should be. But it'll do the job. So, and besides, I do have a lathe, so I can always fine tune my tips, especially these field point tips. Um, I can fine tune them, shave them down to get them exactly and precisely where I need them. Uh, so for me, that's not a big issue. Um, and you could do the same thing yourself with a grinder. It's not that hard to do. You know, you just got to be very, very careful because you don't want to knock it out of concentric uh, too much. So anyway, that's the uh, little scale. It, it's plus or minus within, you know, a certain percentage. It's within uh, 0 0.01 of a grain. So that's, that's decent. Um, there's not much to know to, to do this thing. You can recalibrate calibrate the unit very easy. Um, like I said, you can go into uh, all different types of uh, measurements. So not a big deal there. Um, but um, for 25 bucks, it's gonna do the job that I need it to do. And uh, be quite happy with that. So now I can uh, fine tune air guns a lot better especially once I have pellets that are consistent, consistently the same weight, then I know exactly what it's shooting. So if it's supposed to be a 7.9 grain pellet, and if I've got, you know, like 7.8.93 uh, or something like that, you know, some, some like, you know, within a reasonable amount type of thing, I'm probably a little screwed up on that number, but the, the point is, as long as you can keep consistent weights in your pellets, you're gonna get a, you should get a fairly consistent speed out of your gun. So when you're power tuning your gun, it's good to know that your pellet weight is what your pellet weight is. And you're gonna find inconsistencies definitely, um, like I did, I was just taken right out of a brand new can, like I said, with those premiers, and the differences were just crazy, you know, and I was just randomly picking out the pellets and, you know, and, uh, but I mean, mankind can only make things so perfect, right? So it's an average. So anyway, um, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video and we'll definitely see you in the next one.